Okay, so this is a continuation of the work for sequences and series for the Raggett College post-Easter work. Okay, we're going to continue looking at arithmetic stuff, but now we're going to look at arithmetic series. So if you remember, what we said was a series is when you take a sequence and add all the terms together. So with arithmetic series, there's a strategy that we can implement. And this was something that is often talked about in mathematics circles as a anecdote about Gauss, one of the most prolific mathematicians, scientists, uh, statisticians ever. It's said that when he was a little boy living in Germany, his teacher wanted to set the class a problem, which was this. was find the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100. Now what a lot of the children in the class started to do was diligently do 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, and so on. However, Gauss took a, invented or realised a trick. Some of you may know what this trick is. You may have seen this before. But what Gauss did is he recognised, OK, well, if I call this total that I'm trying to find S, well, what happens if I write all of the numbers backwards? Well, because of the way addition works, this is also S. Now, well, hang on a minute. 100 plus 1 is 101. 99 plus 2 is 101. 98 plus 3. Oh, we can see a pattern here. And he recognised that if you add these two sequences or series together, you get a lot of 101s. How many 101s? Well, there's 100 numbers. So, he knew that 2 times S was 100 times... 101. So S is 50 times 101. Okay. And then he calculated that himself. get the answer. Now, this trick is useful and this is something that you need to be able to do. Because there is a actual formula for this. Okay? For the general arithmetic series. This is the most general arithmetic series. We have the first term, the second term is that plus the common difference, the third term is that plus the common difference. 
So what we're going to do is you can go back to the workbook page and we're going to have a look at question two because we are going to prove that this is equal to n over 2 2a plus n minus 1d. Now this formula you don't have to remember it is in the formula book but you need to know the proof because that could be something you are asked to do. And the method is the same as this method here. So let's have a look at it. So, as we saw, we can write the general arithmetic progression, arithmetic series, like this. Now you don't have to put brackets around each term, but I find it's easier to isolate so you can recognise what's going on. So, what was the first thing Gauss did? He wrote the sequence, the series, backwards. So we know that Sn is also a plus n minus 1 d plus a plus n minus 2 d plus all the way down to plus a plus d plus a. Second step, Gauss took these two equations and did what with them? He added them together. So, Sn plus Sn is 2Sn, A plus A plus N minus 1D, A plus D plus A plus N minus 2D is the same thing, and this is the point. we get the same thing every time. Now how many of these do we have? Well this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term. This is the nth term, so we have n terms in total. So we get this n times. So we know that 2sn is n times 2a plus n minus 1d. And then dividing by 2, we get the formula we were looking for. So how do we use this? Well, if we have a question, find the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence 3, 6, 9, and so on. So, looking at the formula, we need three letters, A, N, and D. A is 3, D is also 3. And we are trying to find the sum of the first 10 terms. 
So the sum of the first 10 terms, S10, let's just write the formula out just to be safe. is 10 over 2 times 2 times a plus n minus 1 times d. And then it's just a case of calculating that. Okay, so with the calculators, 5 times 6 plus 27 Now you can check this on your calculator. Okay, to practice this basic idea of using the formula, or using the formulae, what I'd like you to do, please, is exercise 3b on page... 64 questions 1 to 4 then we'll come back and have a look at the more problem solving type questions that you're beginning to get to with that question 4 idea there okay so we're back and now we're going to look at question 3 from the workbook which is this problem solving type question so these tend to be quite wordy and to tend to cause students problems because of that. The key thing, though, is identifying the information you know. So first off, we know the third term is 13. We know the sequence is arithmetic. And we know the sum of the first six is 96. So what we're going to want to do is write down that information in our notation. So we know that the third, ter the third term is 13, and we know the sum of the first six is 96. And we're trying to find the tenth term. So in order to find the tenth term, what do we need? Well, we need... We know that this is a plus 9d. So we need a and d. We're going to be using this information to get that. So what we're going to want to do is write this equation 1 in terms of a and d, and this equation 2 in terms of a and d. So let's do that. So equation 1 we know that u3 is 13. So a plus 2d is 13. Can't do anything more than that. That's our equation. Equation 2, we know that s6, because the sum of the first six terms is 96. So we know that n over 2 2a plus n minus 1d is 96. So this is 3. So dividing 96 by 3, we get 32. We now have 2 equations with two unknowns in and your calculators can solve simultaneous equations so do that to find a and to find d so i'm going to be using the graphics calculator because that's the one i've got to hand um, the functions are more or less the same there's just more of them on this Okay, so simultaneous, two unknowns. Let's clear that. So we know you've got to really pay attention to x and y because you can't rename them. So our first equation is 1x plus 2y is 13. 
And our second equation is 2x plus 5y is 32. Which gives us that a is 1 and d is 6. Okay? So, we now know that u10, the thing we're trying to find, the tenth term, is a plus 9d. We wrote that at the top, but let's write it again. So 1 plus 9 times 6 is 55. So therefore, the tenth term is 55. This idea of simultaneous equations is probably what is going to happen for this type of question in some way. So make sure you look for that when you are doing these questions. Pay attention to what we need. Or what we want to find and what we need to find that. So get your equations for the information you know. In terms of the things you're trying to find, which we did here and here. This is, I'm being a little general with this because this isn't the only type of sequence or series we look at in maths. We look at um, geometric series, which we'll look at in another video, and also general recurrence relations, which again we'll look at later. So, in order to practice these questions, what you need to do is you need to continue with the exercise 3b. Which is on page 64, 65. The questions we're going to be worrying about are on page 65. So... What I would like you to do, please, is questions 5 and 6. Then 10 and 11. The stretch and challenge is question 13 on page 66. And the challenge on the same page. And that wraps it up for arithmetic series. What we'll look at in the next video is geometric series, which have similar ideas in terms of an nth, formu nth term formula and a summation formula, but they work in a very, very different way. Thank you for watching.